hurt. It's made it it's made it hard for us to conduct business in the district. And I think that I think we handled it right. And I'm I'm glad Vicky's going. If I was going to be here, I'd want to be over there too. All right. So my turn before I open it up to the floor. Um, I really feel again that we um, that the board took decisive action. Not everybody agreed with the outcome of the action, but we took action. And the, uh, the reprimand letter will follow Mr. McGee in his employment jacket as long as he works in the state of Montana and probably beyond. So um, I don't think anybody can say that we didn't take action. They can say that they didn't agree. So what, where we're at now is um, before Mr. Reynolds uh, actually ran for the board, uh, and got elected to the board. He and a couple of other community members uh, started this uh, this business by taking the, uh, the the issue to the Office of Public Instruction uh, and the uh, and requesting that it have a hearing before the um, Board of Public Education. Wait a minute, you where do you get that information? Um, and so that uh, so I don't think that everybody knows that. Um, and so I find it interesting that, um, that I think if people did know that, they may have not voted the same when they voted in the election. And that's neither here nor there at this point. So here's the thing. Um, Mr. Reynolds and his uh, additional complainants in this case, because you're not going to own up to the fact that you started this? Are you going to own up to that? Did you say I went to OPI and asked him for this? I, I say that you, I'm saying that you went to OPI with a complaint. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Um, so whether he agrees to own up for that or not, <laughs> that'll be up to, that'll be up to everybody to decide. So here's the thing as I see it. I'm with Mrs. Cornish. Um, OPI is talking uh, all the time about local control and they run a huge dance during the legislature to try to keep the legislature from infringing on on local control and they're all the time making a dance to see whether uh, keeping the feds from trying to infringe on local control so now they're talking out of both sides of their mouth I find that egregious Just take your name for the record, please. My name is Dennis Partman. In position. I'm the Deputy Superintendent of Public Instruction. How long have you held that? You, you said there was an initial you know, phone call, email. Would you remember if that was a man or a woman? That it was a uh, female. And for the benefit of the record and folks from the Florence Carlton District who may believe differently, I need to ask if you recall any contact from a current trustee, uh, Colby Reynolds? No. No. Not, not to me personally, no. 